Let's uh, turn to the day's other main story, which is that millions of school children in England have returned to their classrooms for the first time this year. It follows months of homeschooling because of the pandemic. Uh, mass COVID testing is underway in secondary schools where teenagers are also wearing face coverings in class. And it's the first step in the easing of the lockdown in England. Uh, that's been in place since January. Some primary school children began returning to school in Northern Ireland today, uh, while some younger pupils in Wales and Scotland have already gone back. Our education editor, Branwyn Jeffries, has the story. OK, early years, welcome back. Come on in. This is a moment of such joy and relief. And that's just the parents. But of course, it's massive for children too. This is the chance to get back to normal. It is a wrench, and there were a few tears. But for working parents, it's also a reprieve. I mean, I've got three at home, so it's been full on um, and a business. Uh, but they need to see their friends, they need to learn, they need to actually spend some time apart from each other, because I don't know about yours, but they're sort of driving each <laughs> other a little bit crazy. They've terribly missed their friends and their education, so coming back today for them is just amazing. No, let's get some mud in for the worms, all yeah, right? Yeah, some mud. Straight back into the joy of playing together. The teachers keeping an eye out for the anxious ones. I shall put some more on the soil for you. Kind of, we knew those children might be a little bit wobbly, and already parents knew that, and they were pairing them up with friends to walk through together. So it's going to be so nice to just actually be in front of them and teach and do what we're meant to do, really. The year six class naming everything they've missed. Basically, I'm looking forward to doing English. Um, and I just like miss my friends. It, it was really fun at home, but um, I've missed being playing out in the playground and with my friends. Sometimes, like when you get stuck on work, you don't have someone there that can always help you, but at school, you're sure that somebody's going to be able to give you a hand. Across England, children returning to classrooms, to bubbles in Norfolk, in Cornwall, an outside story while teenagers in Lancashire wore masks in class for the first time. In Worthing, this school was testing two-year groups, the first of three supervised tests at school. If you get a positive test result from these supervised tests in school, you simply have to self-isolate. But once teenagers are doing these tests at home, if you get a positive result, you're then asked to have a PCR lab test. Now, if the lab test is positive, you self-isolate, but if the lab test is negative, you can come straight back into school. Well, if I had to self-isolate again, I'd be pretty gutted. For these year 11s, being back is crucial to getting GCSE grades. I'm happy to come into school as long as we know that everyone's negative, because all it takes is for one person to, you know, not follow the rules outside of school and then ruin it for the majority. Everyone hoping schools are back for good. Interruptions, if we have to face them, we've learnt a lot about how to do that best. Um, but for us, the continuity, getting them back in that habit, getting them in front of the teachers who know them best, who therefore can make the best judgments on their grades, is vital for us. At every age, a first step towards normality. Brown and Jeffries, BBC News, Worthing.